other news, former Senator Bob Kritsky says Archbishop Savio Hontaifai's statement about wanting to rescind a deed restriction on a highly contested property carries little weight by means of any authority. Archbishop Hahn, the temporary administrator of the church, acknowledged for the first time yesterday that the Redemptress Mater Seminary was conveyed and is no longer in control of the archdiocese. Archbishop Savio Han Tai Fai, the Apostolic Administrator of the Archdiocese of Agania, released a statement yesterday announcing his intention to rescind and annul a deed restriction that conveys a multi-million dollar Jotnia property over to a third party. This deed restriction has been the subject of vigorous debate and dispute and has caused a rift within the Catholic community. We start out with the actual fact that Aperon gave that property to the RMS Corporation on November 22, 2011. There's no getting around that. But as courteous and genuine as Archbishop Hahn's intentions might be, Klitsky says his words are powerless. There's a part in there where he says, and the words you know, are very clear, that he intends to rescind and annul. Uh, now, he intends to do this, yeah. uh, but what power does he actually have? None. There's nothing that he can rescind or annul. The declaration of deed restriction is the functional equivalent of a deed. It conveyed the property to the corporation. He can't, you, once you deed the property away, you can't rescind the deed. You can't annul the deed. So that property has to be deeded back from the corporation back to the archdiocese. The only people who can deed the property back to the archdiocese, Klitsky doubts, will want to have anything to do with giving it back. So you have to ask yourself, well, who has the power to give the seminary back? The first answer is the board of directors of the RMS Corporation, right? It's four or five people. Aperon is one of them. And the second answer is the board of guarantors, which are included in the Articles of Incorporation, that have a complete power of veto of the actions of the corporation. It's made up of four people, one of whom is Aperon, and then we have three New Jerseyites, Father Percetti, uh, Giuseppe Generini, and Gi Giuseppe Generini's wife. So unless the Generinis go along with this, nothing happens. In fact, Klitsky says that the November 2011 deed restriction was done clandestinely and without approval from the Archdiocese Finance Council. Meanwhile, Klitsky reacts to Archbishop Hahn's apology to those he may have offended when he previously declared that the Archdiocese, without a doubt, owns the seminary property. But with his apology, though, uh, is that something you do accept uh, from him? Uh, well, I don't know if I... if. If apologies, hurt feelings, if those are the really important things, the really important thing is for that seminary property to come back to the archdiocese. And if we're going to have a seminary, it has to be a diocesan seminary. By now, I think we've all had enough of the neocatechumenal way and all the havoc that they've created here. And until that seminary becomes a diocesan seminary under the control of whoever the bishop is, it's not, going to, it's not going to stop. You can read Archbishop Hahn's statement online at pacificnewscenter.com.